Okay, so question seven. So they give us a system of differential equations, it's a linear system. Then they ask us to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix, which is the matrix from the system here. Yeah. And then they say, therefore, then they say, thus we can give a solution to the linear system. So this. How do we do this? So this is the whole diagonalizing thing, but they've only given us two marks of actually solving the system, so I think they just want us to go straight to the way the solution is written as uh, the eigenvectors. So we'll see what I mean. So first of all, we'll find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix, which is what? It's 5 minus 1 minus 3, 3. OK. So. 7.1, so we need to look at the 5 minus lambda, minus 1, and then minus 3, 3 minus lambda. Okay, so we need to solve this for lambda, calculate the determinant, and then say so 0 to solve for lambda, so we could start off with doing Let's do row 2 uh, minus row 1. That's going to give us a minus 6. It's going to give us minus 6 plus lambda. And also minus 6. No. Let's do row 2. Let's do row 2. Try row 2 plus row 1. That's going to give us... 4 minus lambda and also just lam minus lambda, that's not gonna that's not gonna be nice. What about if we did added column, so maybe added column one to column two, we would have the top we have we have two minus yes, there we go, we have two minus lambda and two minus lambda. Okay, so column two should become column two plus column one. And then that means the term then because that doesn't change the term, it will be 5 minus lambda minus 1, 5 minus lambda minus 1, and then you add this here, you get 2 minus lambda here, and you get 2 minus lambda here also. Okay, so you can factorize out the 2 minus lambda from that second column, and you have 5 minus lambda minus 1, 1, 1. Then you can... What can you do now? Uh, you could add add to column 1, column 2 now, because then you will get so the 2 minus lambda stays, but you will get this uh, entry down here to 0. 6 minus lambda, 0, and then this is the same. Now it's upper triangular, uh, so the, the determinant is just the, you multiply the diagonals by each other, so that you get 2 minus lambda, 6 minus lambda. So the eigenvalues are... Two and six. Okay. Oh, now we need eigenvectors. Right. Okay, so for for lambda one equals two. Let me just put that in later. So for lambda one equals two, we are looking at um subbing in two into the eigenvector equation. Okay, so you're taking the, the lambda i to the other side, and you can, and then lambda is to 2, so 5 minus 2 is 3, you have minus 3 here, you have minus 1, 3 minus 2 is, is 1. Okay, cool, there's a multiple of that's good, that's what you could expect, really. So now we could do, we could do row 1 plus 3 times row 2, and we get... 0, 0, minus 1, 1, v1 equals 0, and that means that the eigenvector is, well, multiples of 1, 1, right? So they cancel. Okay, cool. Um, could just check that quickly. So the actual 
matrix was originally 5 minus 1 minus 3, 3. You multiply that by 1, 1, you get top you get 5 minus 3 is 2. Minus 1 plus 3 is 2. Yes, that is indeed 2 times 1, 1. Okay, so that's correct eigenvector eigenvalue. So the other eigen that value was 6. So now that corresponds, now we go, we have 5 minus 6 is minus 1, and then there's minus 3 here, and then minus 1, and 3 minus 6 is minus 3. Okay. Well, again, the rows are multiplied to each other, as we would ex expect. So to solve this, you can go, for example, row 2 minus row 1. That gives you minus 1, minus 3. At the same time, why don't we just do minus times row 1 by negative number. So you get times of my row 1 by negative 1. So you get minus 1, one 3, and here you get 0, 0. And that's V2 equals 0. And so that means that V2 could be, so they have the opposite sign, and then the first one would be 3 times the second one. Yeah, okay. Let's check that. So the matrix was 5 minus 1 minus 3, 3, 5 minus 1, minus 3, 3, you multiply that by 3 minus 1, you get, you get 15 plus 3 is 18, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, and that is indeed 6 times 3, 1, so that eigenvector and eigenvalue are also correct. Okay. So the next thing is to do what? Oh, that's that's all, that's seven point one done. We found the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues. Now they want us to solve the differential equation, right? Use it to write down the solution of the differential equation. So now you could go through this whole diagonalizing process. Um, and when you do that, what you get is you get like. Hmm. Oh yes, okay. So the eigenvalues appear in terms of you have like e to the lambda 1 t, then you multiply that by its eigenvector, and then you have e to the lambda 2 t, and you multiply that by its eigenvector. That's just this, that's what that's that's the form that's just what the solution is. I think that's all right. Yeah, it's just that. Okay. So we'll write that down, and then we'll test it. Okay, so... Oh, we should write it down in the right form, though. I mean, they haven't given us, they haven't given, actually given us in vector form, so let's not write down in vector form. So, at least for a final answer. Okay, so we have so 7.2. So um, we have going to have x1, x2 will equal, oh, there's going to be scalars as well, of course. So ae1 times e to the, now lambda1 was 2, so to the 2t, and the eigenvector was 1, 1. Then a two e to the sixty. The eigenvector was three minus one. Okay, that's a, that's the solution. Let's check it. So you do if we calculate. I want to calculate. Um, I want to sub this into the original equation, and so to do that, I'm going to need. I have x1, I have x2, I'm going to need x1, dx1 dt and dx2 dt. I need x1 dash and x2 dash, in other words. Okay, so x1 dash, top row, is 2a1e to the 2t plus, oh, not 6, plus 6a2e to the 60 times by 3, so actually 18. And x2 dash is uh, 
2a1e to the 2t plus 6a2e to the 6t, but then times by minus 1, so minus. Okay. Now, the right-hand side of those equations, it was, the equation was, uh, the right-hand side of the top of the, for the x1 is the d4 x1 dash, the x1 is 5x1 minus 3x2, so let's actually do that. Um, so, 5x1 minus 3x2 equals... Uh, so x1 at the top line, so we need times by 5. So we have 5a1 e to the 2t, plus now we have 3 times 5, which is 15a2 e to the 6t. And now we are subtracting 3 times x2. Second line, so 3a1 e to the 2t, or minus 3a1 e to the 2t, and then minus 3a2 e to the 60, but there's a extra there's a minus 1 there, so that comes plus. And so that all comes out to um, 2a1 e to the 2t. Um, plus 18a2e to the 60, which indeed is, that's indeed x1 dash, we've got x1 dash, so the solution, that part of the solution is correct. Now let's check for the, for x, that we have the right thing for, it works for the second row, for the x2 dash, which is, we have minus 1 and 3 are the coefficients, minus 1 and 3, so it says, x1 dash equals, so, oh, sorry, we want to calculate minus x1 plus 3x2, and see, uh, that should hopefully equal, equal x2 dash. So minus x1 will be minus a1 e to the 2t minus 3a2 e to the 6t, then 3 times x2 is 3a1 e to the 2t plus 3a2 e to the 6t, but it's minus 1 there, so you need a minus there. Okay, so what does this come to? You end up with 2a1 e to the 2t and minus 6a2 e to the 6t, which is indeed x2 dash. Yes, so it all worked out. So this is indeed the solution. Now, all this stuff is just rough work checking. We don't need to show that in the final thing. That's, that's enough for the complete answer. Okay.